Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. We are back home from Tampa. We had such a great time at the fundraiser last night. It was really awesome to see yeah. so many people and know that we have a, sim a similar calling um, to so many of those people last yeah. night. It was really awesome. Yeah. So on our way back from Tampa, we got a message saying that Daisy's ready to come home. <laughs> So the kids don't know. They think yeah. we're just going to visit. Yeah, they don't realize we're gonna go get her. So we're headed to the hospital, we're bringing you along. You're gonna get to see us bringing her home. It's a good day, Zoo family. A lot of you have been waiting for this, commenting every day. Can't wait to see her come home. I can't wait to see her come home. I've seen it on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. So we know a lot of you are excited. This is a good day. How many times do you think I've driven up here? I don't know. I've driven back and forth to the hospital. Multiple, multiple times a week for over a month and uh, there was the, the one week that she was born I was here every day at least once a day um, there was one day I know I drove back and forth to the hospital four times in one day and that was too much that was crazy I've driven this path so much I'm ready to stay home and I told Melanie when we bring Daisy home, we're not leaving our city for like a week, a solid week. We're just gonna, maybe longer, we're just gonna hang out and not go to Orlando for anything. <laughs> Nothing against Orlando, but we just wanna be away from the traffic. It doesn't help that all the traffic we go through is construction. Right. As, as soon as we're about four miles away from home, it's construction. And it's construction the rest of the way there, Zoo family. We're talking about a solid 20 minutes of driving in construction zones. And we're, ugh, we're over it. We're ready for some small town living again. Because even though we are just south of Orlando, we live in a little area that makes it feel like you're still in a small town, old Florida feel. And that's what we love about it. So anyways, enough about that. Moving on to what you really want to see. Let's go get Daisy. Last time going up the elevator, got Melanie's, her breastfeeding uh, leaf. Did you even show them what this is about? No. Each one represents a bottle she had to pump. Each each little sticker is a bottle she had to pump to bring in for Daisy to be breastfed. Last time riding up the elevators, last time this, last time walking through these doors. Here we go. Hi, Daisy. Hi, little love. Time to go home. She's getting her last feeding. And then we're gonna put her in her discharge outfit, her special outfit that we chose for this day. And then we'll be gone. She's kind of lost interest in eating. Cause you know you're gonna go home, right? Do you know you're going home? Is that what's happening here? You know something's oh up because dad's here. <laughs> I know, I know. You be all better, sir. <laughs> so hard. It's so hard. And you just don't know why no one will leave you alone. Change me, feed me, do everything I need. <laughs> yeah, this is the preemie one? Yeah. It's perfect. Hi, girl. Hi. So we, we went to get her in the outfit zoo family and she had a poopy diaper. And she almost pooped on the go home outfit. Thankfully, we have outfit. lots of outfits so that we could, we could. I know. I know. Here we go. There's your pants, right? When did you switch outfits? Are these the, when we. How could we have thought she'd be new? <laughs> <laughs> when did you buy this outfit? The day that I was admitted to the hospital, right? Or was it the next day? We had it Sunday. We had this outfit in newborn. Right. When she came early, we realized, oh, we better buy the same outfit in Greenie. Because we still wanted the same outfit to be her girl. <laughs> Hi, Daisy. Look at her. Look at her little cardigan, Mom. <laughs> Oh my goodness! 
Look at you, girlfriend. He's like, well, that's right. You have a little thing <laughs> with my mm -hmm. cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. And her little cardigan's perfect because it's cold. Right, out. right. Aww. <laughs> so cute. a cold front. See if we can get it on. <gasps> there we go. Look at you. Hi. She's not Aww. squinting from it, right? No. No. Okay. You're good. You there she is. You look great. You're ready. <laughs> That's right. As long as you don't keep scratching your face, she's going to go. Oh, I know. I, know. I, already got it. I think we're already getting Dora to coat the nails. Yeah. Get home. Yep. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? There she is, Zoo family. There's our Miss Daisy. She's got her fresh kicks on. <laughs> she's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. And of course, she's got a cardigan on. And it's actually seasonable. Yeah. It's freezing out for you. It's freezing. Are you giving me a sweet little smile? Hello, lovey. Hi, my love. How are you? Are you ready to go home with us? Are you? You did such a good job We're up here, Days. I'm so excited. You're going to meet Kayla and Katie and Melody. Pictures going to be okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Last minute. Last moment here in this room. Man, I've been 16 days. And most of our time wasn't even spent here, was it? No. Actually, downstairs. the majority was in the other room. Yeah. But, uh, I never even got the chance to spend overnight, darn. I know. It's so. all right. I'd much rather go home with our baby. <laughs> and speaking of that, let's go. It's not bad for staying here two weeks. Yeah. Melanie took everything of hers home, obviously. I did. <laughs> Far more hard fought than the boys. Oh my goodness, for real. On our way home. There's a baby in our car, Mom. <sighs> There's a baby in our car, Mommy. No turning back now. I know. <laughs> we were talking on the way here that it was so kind. It was kind of nice to have nurses take care of her like 24 7. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of like, I guess it's what it's like when people have nannies. Yeah. And you don't change your, I mean, you don't have to change every diaper. Like, you could just say, oh, yeah, you can do it. They're like, because they just ask you, do you want to do it? And you can say, oh, no, I'll let you do it. And they're fine with that. Right. Not every feeding did anyone wake me up for. It was not yeah. so nice. We changed two diapers just in the short time we were upstairs. <laughs> that's, that's Daisy saying oh real life gosh, is here. Oh, my gosh, Daisy. What you think, baby? Are you ready to go home? Oh, my gosh, this thing is so, like... I think mentally I was prepared for like another five to ten days. Oh really? You know, I think so. Wow, well, I'm glad it's not. I think because I was just like, oh, if we could have her home by Thanksgiving, that'd be awesome. You know. I know that that was my deadline, basically in my mind. I was thinking, right? We can't not have her for Thanksgiving because that was originally when they were going to induce you. Right. As soon as she tra it got transferred to the eleventh floor, she like soared. That's right. Okay, let's get her home to the kids. Hey, Zoo family. Thanks for watching part one of two of our vlog, Bringing Daisy Home. Tomorrow, we bring the entire pregnancy playlist to a close with Daisy getting to meet her siblings, Caleb, <laughs> Cadence, so I am serious, Logan, and her big brother, Timmy. 
You won't want to miss it. Are you excited to meet your sister? Oh my goodness.